when solving an algebraic proof, you're trying to provide reasons for each step along the way. Those reasons are typically going to be properties like the addition property of equality or the distributive property or the symmetric property. In most, if not all, proofs, the first reason is actually given. The given information is, is here. The proof statement is here. The given statement is restated, and the reason, of course, then is given. And as you go through the steps of the proof, you just provide the property that either justifies it or allows you to make that step. Here we would be combining these like terms. Uh, some people write combine like terms. Some people will say simplify. But even better is the sub uh, substitution property. And then we would be dividing by 5 on each side, and that is the division property of equality. And I just abbreviate it that way most of the time. In example 2, we have this given information that's been restated. So again, we can put given. The next line, we have to deal with this parentheses. The 5 is multiplied by each item, and that's an a distributive property being applied there. Then we would be adding 15 to each side since it's to both sides. That's the addition property of equality. And as a side note, the addition property of equality and the subtraction property of equality are, are interchangeable when it comes to the reasons for a proof. Multiplication and division work the same way. They're both interchangeable as well. If we divide by 5 here, that would be the division property of equality. And then we would be switching both sides. If they're equal when we start, and then we can swap the two sides, and they're still equal. And that's an application of the symmetric property of equality. As we move down to a couple more examples, example 3. We have this given information. We have the statement provided here. And so that is given for the reason. We're distributing again, it seems like, but always have to pay attention to, to actually what did happen. The 5 seemed to have gone away here. We didn't change these values. The 5 went away. So actually what happened was we divided by 5 on each side. So this is the division property of equality. And then we added 3. So that is the addition property of equality. And again, we swap the two sides. So this is the symmetric property of equality. Now, it's possible when you're doing a proof to do certain things the way you would like them, but you have to always get to the prove line. Now, if the statements are already, already provided, then you have to give the reasons that fit those. But if you're creating the entire proof yourself, then you can do the statements however you choose as long as you reach this final proof statement. When your last statement looks like the proof statement, you know that you've completed it. Example number four, the given information has been restated. So it is given for the reason. We're going to get rid of this fraction. So we're multiplying by 2 on each side. That's the multiplication property of equality. We subtract 3x. Or excuse me, subtract 1x. That is the subtraction property of equality. Then we divide by 3, the division property of equality. And then we're swapping the two sides again. So the symmetric property of equality.